Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Commit. I am Penge and welcome to House Flipper. So immediately the name of this game I find interesting because if you look at the little picture above the name of the game here, there's a house and there's a variety of tools. So there's like a screwdriver and a whatever that is, a spannery thing and a saw and another screwdriver. Why are there two? No, that's a drill. That's a drill. That's a drill. That's not a screwdriver. That's a drill. That's a screwdriver. That's a hammer. That's a measuring thing and that's a paintbrush. So you could probably gather that it's something to do with decorating a house or tarting it up or repairing a house or whatever. And that's what it is. You renovate houses. That's what this game is about. But it's called House Flipper. Now, that's not a terminology that I've ever heard of. I've never heard of flipping a house. It's not something that I am aware of in the UK, certainly. Normally, you just go in and renovate it or you, you spruce it up or you redo it or something. But yeah, it's house flipping a terminology, a, a sort of term that people use from somewhere else in the world? Is it a United States thing? Do people go around flipping houses? So I suppose the idea is you're flipping it from being a bad, unusable, horrible house into a nice house. But yeah, it's just something I've never heard the terminology of before, which is intriguing. So I thought I thought we would have fun with this because this may, <laughs> this may surprise some of you, but I'm not the most hands-on person with DIY. As you can probably tell by the fact that I actually thought this was a screwdriver, which, uh, yeah, we're off to a good start there. So, um, yeah, I'm not the most hands-on person. I can probably do the very basics. I can put up a shelf. That's okay. I can put up a shelf, and I can do very, very simple things. But anything that's really advanced or clever, no, no, I leave that. I leave that to more skilled and mature and grown-up people than me. And then I, while they're doing all the hard work and labouring away, I will just play on the computer or sit drinking tea or stare out the window or something. You know, something really unproductive while the proper, real, actual work people are doing their thing. I'll just sit there and be a bit feeble. So, um, yeah, here we go. So I thought we'd give this a go uh, just, just for sort of uh, openness. I got a key for this game from the developer, so thank you very much. And this is the beta, beta, however you want to pronounce it, version. So there may well be a few little bugs and such like. But it's supposed to be coming out fairly soon house flipper there is a release date of q1 2018 i believe now i don't know if that's going to be pushed back or whatever but it could be coming out imminently but i, I thought we'd give this a little go so i've done the tutorial level if you like there's a very simple house that you go into and I, on the right hand side in fact you can see a bank balance we've got eighty-five thousand four hundred eighty-six pounds because i put it into pounds that would be quite nice i wish i did have eighty-five thousand four hundred eighty-six pounds and one pence that would be splendid. Now, since I last played this, there has been an upgrade. It's been updated the 28th of February. Now, I've, I've played this a little while ago, but the 28th of February is when it was last updated. And they've added some extra bits and bobs. So now I have a head flashlight, which I assume means like a, it's not my whole head. It's not my, my head doesn't light up like a light bulb. I have like a, a flashlight attached to my head so I can still use my hands. I think that's what that means. So here we go. So let's go and do all this stuff, shall we? Now already, I, I can't, how do I open the door? Hello, let me in, please. There we go. And uh, yeah, this is my place. So this is my gaff. I live here and it, it's quite nice. Look, it's, it's okay. It's fine. I can go through here and I get my work from just here. So there's a little computer. Uh, your most unhappy customers your greatest source of learning, says Bill Gates. Yeah, thanks, Bill. Cheers. So, uh, yeah, here's my little work thing. And there's a cup of... A cup of something there. What's that? A cup of fire. I've got a cup of fire or a cup of smoke, possibly. Mmm, a delicious cup of refreshing smoke. So, uh, yeah, let's go to the laptop. Let's go just here. Uh, we can read our mail if we like, but there's not much. So clean up, please. Hi, I bought house to refresh. I'd like to move in ASAP. So please make rooms clean and tidy. Well, I think that's probably a good idea. So let's do that. So we've refreshed this house. We did that. That was the kind of the tutorial house. So I imagine this is the next one. So you can either do little missions from here, from your mail, if you like, or we can go into the browser, which brings up these. So it brings up actual offers, look. So you can go into the... Oh, I don't know what the names are. The names are crazy. The 018 Dirty Bungalow Basement O2H House Legend Admin. Or, and this is new, I did not see this before, but that's very intriguing. The Barbie House. I would quite like to buy that, but I can't afford it. I'm 4000 and a few dollars short, which is a shame. So you can buy these yourself. So you buy this house, you do it up how you like, and then you call an evaluator in, and then you sell it, and obviously you have to try and make a profit on it. For right now, I think we're going to go and do this. Let's do Robert Moon's thingamabob. Let's go to you, Mr. Moon, accept that, and then we'll go to Robert Moon's house and clean it up a bit. 
And here is Robert Moon's house. And as you can see, it's just here. It's a nice brick house. It's in a neighborhood with other houses. So it's not just like you get one house. You know, there's a street and it looks, you know, it looks really good. There's you know, wheelie bins and letter boxes and there's other houses down the road and power lines and phone lines and all that. Right, so let's go in and let's start cleaning up his house. Oh, right, okay. What happened in here, man? What on earth happened? Right, so it's fairly easy to dispose of things. You just click. You click on stuff and then it kind of magically disappears. So all these bin bags and things can just go away. Trash cans, all this litter on the floor. You can just click on and it goes away. Right, so if we get ourselves this out, the cleaning tool, we can then, look, it's like a, a cool mop thing. We then rub that around and it cleans stuff up. So let's clean up the door, shall we, for the start. Let's clean up near the door. The side of there needs a bit of washing, needs a bit of TLC. Yeah, okay, right. So that's looking good. Uh, we want to dispose of all that. So now we need our hands again. So let's dispose of these things. There's lots of litter about. Okay, lots of horrible boxes. What on earth have you been doing in here, Mr. Moon? This is a, this is an absolute disgrace. Did you get burgled and someone just came in and used it as a sort of tipping site or something? Good grief. Uh, okay, right. What else is there? More more revolting boxes. Oh, oh, that's just terrible. Your bed is covered in grot. Well, this this is very unpleasant. Okay. So all we've got to do from his house is very simple stuff. All we've got to do is clean it. So remove the trash. As you can see on the right-hand side, bedroom tasks, remove trash is done. Great room, I, I would argue whether it's great, I don't know, but whatever, remove trash. So now we can go into the different rooms and see what happens. Oh, there's a basement. Right, okay. I'm not going to go into the basement just yet. Okay, so now this room here, bedroom. Let's remove the trash from the bedroom, like so. Bishy bashy bosh. There we go. So that's 100% removed from there. And is there another door there? Yep. Yeah. And this is the bathroom, presumably. So this is just clean dirt. Well, let's start in the bathroom, shall we? So let's pick the cleaning tool. And then we give things a nice scrub. And it all goes away. There we go. Scrubity, scrubity, scrub. And we scrub that. We scrub the floor. We scrub that wall. So we're 47% done on the scrubbing. Now, where else needs a good scrub? In here, 59% clean dirt. Ah, now it's the bottom of the walls, is it? Is it the bottom of the walls that need a bit of needs a bit of love? I think it might be. I think it might be those little grimy bits at the bottom there. Right, can I crouch somehow? Don't think I can crouch. But no, so yeah, it's just taking a while to clean these grubby bits. Look, like that, in fact. There we go. We're getting there to 88% clean. Oh, there's a bit on the door. Okay, that's good. And then a bit down in that corner. Clean that. 94% clean. The sink. Is the sink a bit dirty? I oh, know it's down here. Look, of course it is. It's just there. So if we just keep scrubbing away at that, yeah, 100%, yay, so we've cleaned the bathroom, splendid. Right, there's grot round here, might as well get that while we're there. A little bit of grot there, a little bit of grot down at the bottom, <laughs> okay. Bottom of the walls will need doing. Okay, well, let's do this, let's do this room. Now, what I don't understand is what am I doing with the dirt that goes onto this magic brush? Because it, it just seems to be forever soaking up dirt. I've got no idea, I mean, that's good. That's a good thing. The magic ever cleaning brush. Maybe I should patent this and retire on the millions. So yeah, let's clean this room then. So let's clean it. I mean, what what's happened to the sofa? What is this? There's some sort of terrible teenage party happened in here. This is bad. Right, let's jump over here. Oh, right. Yep, yeah, there's a bit in the window as well. Look, so scrub the window. Yeah, okay. Right, we're getting there. We're getting there. We're slowly clearing this. So we're clearing all the grot. And this, and this, and on there, and all the walls. Oh, dearie, mate. And the sink, which we clean with a massive brush that we've been cleaning the floors with, but okay. And over here, we need to clean all this. Now, are we nearly done? It's on 90%, 91%. Okay, so there's some dirt in here that I've not done. Ah, the front of the fridge is a bit dirty, so let's clean that. 94%. Is it the back of the door? No. Oh, that door. Maybe that door counts as this room. Uh, no. Okay, so there's there's some dirt in here that I've not identified. I don't know where it might be. Is it under the table? No, it's not on the sides. It's not on there. It's not on the side of the fridge. It's not immediately obvious to me where the dirt is. Okay, fine, whatever. Right, well, let's go in here. Let's do this room next. So, uh, okay, right, more tidying. Let's come back when I've tidied this, because I'm not actually doing very much at the moment in this particular room. So let's just tidy all this sort of grot up. 
get all this sorted. I'm sure it'll be fine. And then we'll come back when this room is nice and tidy. Right, and that is this room done. This room is finished. The bedroom is entirely finished. So I can go through, shut the door on the bedroom. That's good. The bathroom is done. Shut the door on the bedroom. On the bathroom, sorry. Right, this room also needs a little bit of cleaning love. So yeah, there's all sorts of grot in here. A new cleaning perk is available. Click below hotkey to upgrade. What cleaning perk can I have? New perk after 55 cleaned elements or trash disposed. So I get to pick one of these. See some dirt in minimap. See most dirt and see all dirt. Right, so okay, so I'll start off with some dirt. 25% faster cleaning or a good mop. Ooh. Ooh, that's intriguing. I quite like the idea of a good mop. I like the idea of a good mop. Let's go for that. Yes, I have myself a good mop. Oh, look at it. It's a different mob. Yay. Oh, and, it, and that's there. I like that. I like that. That's very good. Right, okay. Well, let's use our fancy pants mop and let's start cleaning up this room then. Right, another room 100% done. Yes, I'm very good at doing the cleanings. This room, not so good. Still on 96%. Don't know where the extra dirt is, to be honest. Is it somewhere around the bottom of there? Oh, do you know what? I may never know. I may never find out where the dirt is in this room. The 4% of dirt, which is remaining very elusive. Is it down there? No. Is it behind the sofa somewhere? Behind the sofa? No. Okay. Okay, well, I'll have to come back to that. I'll have to keep working on that. So, that's this room is nearly done. So, this room is pretty much done. So, let's shut the door. That's fine. All right, let's go down to the basement. And what horrors does the basement hold for us? Uh, okay, so the stairs are supposed to be like that. That's not... Oh... Oh, dearie me. Okay, right. Let's change to our hands. Yeah, we need to dispose of all of these bits of rubbish, which is lovely. Um, I don't know how to crouch. Maybe I need to go and check how to crouch first. So there might be something around that corner. But let's go and pick up all these things, all these boxes. Oh, there's some white goods. Okay, what do I do with the white goods? What am I supposed to do with those? I don't know. Okay, well, there we go. Let's get the cleaner tool thing out. Start mopping the floor a little bit. So, yeah, we're removing the dirt quite easily from down here. It's just a case of where is the actual dirt. I've removed 31% of dirt. Now, is it the bottom of the walls that needs cleaning? Or is it the shelves? Where is the rest of the stuff that needs cleaning? What is the electricity? Ah, right up there. Look, it's the ceilings. Ah, now that's intriguing. The ceilings. Do I need... To concentrate on the ceiling in the other room, in the big, the, the great room, or whatever they call it on the other room. But yeah, the big, the front room, if you like, the first room you go into. Maybe I need to look at the ceiling. But okay, let's clean the ceilings here with my fancy mop. Oh god, there's another perk available. There's another perk. So I can either see some dirt in the mini map, or I can do 25% faster cleaning, or I can get an Ultra Hyper Mop 2018. Oh, that sounds quite cool. But no, I'm going to go for fast hands. I think I quite like the idea of doing things a bit quicker. So let's do that. Yeah, let's upgrade that. Let's see how quick we are now at doing the cleaning. Right, are we quicker? Oh, we seemingly are quicker. This is very good. Yeah, we are super speedy at cleaning now. Yep, okay. And 92% of dirt cleaned. Right, I don't know how to look at what's under here. Like, I don't know if that needs some, some, some effort there. I'm not entirely sure. So, okay, where's the other, where's the tiny bit of dirt that I've missed? Then? Ah, now I can use my headlamp. Yes, headlamp. So, it might be that I don't need to care. Right, hang on, let me just go and see how I can crouch. Is it C? Ah, right, it's C seems to be like a duck down type feature. No, I can't find the, uh, can't find the offending muck. Oh, is that it? Is that it just there? No. Okay, I don't know where the offending muck is then. I don't know where the where the germs are, where the dirt is. But uh, do you know what? 96%. I think I'll take 96% complete. That's fine. I've gone past the minimum progress bar. What I actually need to do for it. It's there. It's there. It's there. Yes, clean it. Yay! 100%. Right, okay. Goodbye, basement. Don't need to bother about you ever again. Shut the door. I assume it's gone to night time then, has it? Has it got dark? Yes, it's got dark. Okay. And I've also figured out where the last bit of dirt is for this room. It's on the door. Oh, no, 98%. Y are you joking? 2%? I bet there's like a perk or something cool you get for cleaning everything 100%. I can't leave behind 2% of dirt somewhere. 
That is, that's just rubbish. Is it behind there? Is it behind there? I mean, there's a few electrical sockets behind there. That's fine, isn't it? Electrical sockets and, and a spongy, watery thing. That's fine. That, that's, that's fine. I don't, ah, it's the front of there. Look, it's there. Clean. 99%. No. <laughs> Where's my 100%? That is a very shiny tap. Come on. Come on. Where's the last bit of dirt? Maybe I should have taken the thing which says some dirt appears on the mini map. That might be useful right now so I can just see where this errant final tiny bit of dirt must be. Ah, it's behind that plant. It's behind that plant. There. 100%. I have cleaned everything, I think, pretty much in this house. Now, I don't think I have to do his yard. I don't think I have to do his garden. I think I just do the house and that's it. So, tasks. 99% clean dirt. Hang on a moment. I want to get 100% on this. Which room doesn't have dirt clean in it? This room. No, the main room is clean. Okay. The This room. The bathroom is all done. This room is 100% clean. The basement is 100% clean, I think. Yeah. This room here? What? This isn't a room? Oh, right. Oh, there's some grot up there. Okay, let's clean that. Let's get rid of that and that grot there. Clean that away. Yay! Order is 100% complete. You can click below hotkey to complete the order. Okay. Yes, you've done 100%. You may complete the order for just under a thousand pounds. That's quite nice. Yes, let's complete it. Thank you very much. It took 13 minutes, nine seconds. I earned a thousand. I wish I could get a thousand pounds in 13 minutes and nine seconds. That would be, that would be lovely. Okay, jolly good. Back we go to my house. Okay, so what I think we'll do is we shall have this video here where I just do the little tasks that are given to me by the people uh, who are sending me emails saying, I've got a little job for you to do. Please do this. So currently I have a, uh, a job from Jack Grahan. Grahan says, hi, winter is coming. I'd like to move into my new house ASAP. So I need to have all radiators mounted. Thank you. Yeah, you might want to hold your thanks back until after I've ruined your house. But OK, so we'll do this now. And then I think I would like to make another video where I buy one of the houses and then do it up and see how that works. But for now, I think for this video, let's do this. So let's go and mount this person's radiators. Let's go find Jack's house and go and sort his radiator issue out. Now, I don't know how to mount a radiator. I'm not entirely sure. This house looks terrifyingly familiar. It looks very much like my house. Okay, so we go in and all we've got to do is mount the devices, it says. Oh, it's, oh, it's a nice house. Right, I'm assuming there's going to be one in each room, I guess. Ah, okay, right. There's a place where a radiator should possibly go. Uh, there's a cart and other nice things. Okay, right, this is cool. Okay, I don't need to do any... No, no, no cleaning. No cleaning today, thank you. Okay, so what have we got? Uh, another space for a radiator. So that's two that I can see. Three. There's, 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 there's furniture in the way. Could you move the furniture, please? That's back into the main hall. That's in the garden. Okay, so that's three I've found. Uh, four just there. So Hang on, where's the six? One. There's one there. Two. Three. Four. Where? Ah, is there something in here? Five. Where? Oh, there's only five. Oh, I thought it... Okay, right. There's five radiators. Okay, so I need to then use my tablet, I think, to order stuff. So hang on. Oh, no, no. The kitchen. There's one in here. So that end room has got two radiators in, has it? This has got two. Mount devices. Where Where does the second radiator go? What's this? Why have you got to plug in your bathroom? What's going on there? That looks quite dangerous. Would you have a plug in your bathroom? So, yeah, certainly one goes here. And there's some sort of pipe things for that. I mean, what's that? I genuinely don't know what that is. How do, how do I come out of the le escape? Abandon. Abandon hope. Right, okay, there we go. <laughs> right, I don't know what that is. I think what we have to do is we have to go through. Let's start just here. This one should be okay. So a tablet. So, right, so let's go to the tablet. I think we need to go to the shop. Let's go to the shop like, like this. And then we need to buy ourselves... Uh, okay, let's search. Radi right, radiator. Radiator. Mountable or montable radiator big or just a radiator? A radiator. Yeah, there. Buy one of those. Buy that. Oh, and it magically flips. Okay, to purchase item, use this. Okay, yeah, let's purchase the radiator. <gasps> right, I've mounted a radiator. It says I haven't mounted it yet. 
Why have I not done it? Oh, God. Oh, okay. Right. I have to do a thing with these. Uh, okay. E. What? I don't know what any of this is. <laughs> What's this? What do I do? Oh, oh, right. Okay. Hang on. Can I move the camera around? I'm at a bit of a weird angle. Right. Twizzle that thing and twizzle that thing and then click that. Click, click it some more. Bring it back down. Twizzle that thing and twizzle that thing and then put that on. Uh... Yeah, yeah, I've mounted a radiator. I am DIY king extraordinaire. Okay, order another one of those, please. And that can go there. That's fine. And then order another one. Uh, buy now. And it can go just there. Splendid. And then order another one for just here. And drop that in just there. And this last one is going to be intriguing. So there's one here. So we put that into place, say, there. Uh, what's what's here then? It says mount two devices, but I can't see anywhere. Unless it's a thing. Is a, a towel radiator, a montable towel radiator. Is that, like if I buy that now, is that what goes on the wall? Is that what that thing is plumbing into? I don't know. I don't know where the other device is that I'm supposed to be doing in this room. I really don't know. <laughs> you might have to have... Maybe just one radiator in your bathroom and not two. Have you got your washing machine in the bathroom? Okay, it's a little bit weird. It's a little bit strange. I'll give you that. Okay, maybe not that. Is it a montable radiator big? Uh, no. Okay, I don't know where the extra thing is I'm supposed to be mounting in this room then. I really don't know. Like that, it's something to do with this. I'm gonna. I'm fairly certain it's something to do with that. But I just don't know what that is. I don't know what this arrangement of things is. What if I press the buttons? Oh, right, okay. That They come off, and that comes off. Yay. Is that good? Is that a good thing? Do, did I want to detach those things from there? I don't really know what that did. Can I now buy a towel radiator thing and fit that? Uh, how do I rotate it? Rotate 90 degrees. Shift and that. Like, does that fit there? Rotate item. Uh, oh, oh, like that. Ah, okay, right. Well, that's quite cool. It doesn't seem to be that, does it? It's certainly not anything to do with that. Do you know what? I don't know. I don't know. Right. Okay. Well, let's let's do this. Let, I can't. I can't see your your things in the way. How can I move? How do I move the? Hello. Can you move? Um, uh, this is. Can we move this? Can I move this? I should hold the left mouse button. Uh, okay. Ah, right. Okay. Uh, let's move that out the way for now. Can I open the door with that in in the hands? Yeah, okay. Let's put that down. Uh, now I can do this. Right, okay. Let's put that into place and that into place. And let's do all these things. Yep, so let's do that up. Let's do that up. Let's do this bolt. Let's do that bolt. Let's put the turny bit on the top. Right, okay. One out of two devices is mounted. Now, unfortunately... I don't. I simply don't understand what that is. <laughs> I don't know what that is at all. I really don't know. It looks like three pipes sticking out the wall. For what purpose? I have no idea. Oh, you can open his windows. Oh, that's nice. It looks like a nice day. Let's let some air in. Even though they said winter is coming, I think he's being a bit of a grump. Okay. Now, oh, let's put his um, let's put his uh, uh thingy back, his washing machine back into his bathroom. You know, like like a normal person has. Uh, can I put it? back please i want it to just uh okay hang on hang on right we've changed it round for you a little bit there you go it's back in you enjoy moving that right let me go and fix these other ones in then okay so i've done the other ones and i'm just looking on the mini map in the corner it's got the green bits where the successful radiators are which is good and there's a red bit just here so it's something to do with this i just can't work out what i really don't know what i'm supposed to do with this actually that's the wrong way round isn't it? let's rotate that round so it's possibly the right way yeah, I just don't get it. I don't know what's supposed to go there. I really don't know. I don't, I don't get it. I don't have enough knowledge about what that is and what those little pipe hole things are. So we might have to leave this not quite... I mean, we've done the minimum progress. If you look on the bar on the right, we have achieved the minimum progress for this. But I, I don't know what that is. I really don't know what that is. And let, ah, ah, hang on. Hang on. Are we supposed to plumb that in? Is that what we're supposed to do? Plumb this thing in. Because it looks like a small square type thing. So do we do that? And then 
and then and then um i don't know how to I, I, I mean i don't know how to do one of these in real life let alone in a computer version how do we do a washing machine how do we fix a washing machine to the wall uh okay it's getting dark out that's never a good sign is it isn't it 11 47 what in the morning or at night that's a bit rubbish uh hang on let's check for washing machine uh washing machine washing machine mountable what mountable washer is that what that is? Is that what that is? It certainly looks like it, doesn't it? Right, move that, say, to there. Are there any pipes or anything at the back that it... Can we turn the lights on in here? Are there any lights? Can we activate the light, please? Are the lights on the outside? Uh, no. Okay, this house is weird. It has no lights. Uh, let's... I don't. I, I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to fix. And why does it get going dark whenever I duck down? Uh, <laughs> I don't know how to fix that thing. Torch. That uh, onto there. I don't know how to do that. Is there a fixing kit? Fix. No. Uh, pipe. P no. Plum. Not plumbing. Um, domestic appliance. Maybe there's like a, a, a kit. Kit, I can bother. No, n not there. Uh, installation, no. Others, is it under others? A laundry, a kid's ball. Oh, this sounds. This, oh, look at it. Oh, this is amazing. There's lots of fun things. Books, lots of books. Okay, a fork. Very important. A fork. That's good. Seven pound twenty-four for that bunny. I think that's quite expensive. You should change your suppliers. Um, yeah, I, do, I don't know how to do that. I don't. I genuinely don't know how to plumb that thing in. I really don't know how to connect that to there. And maybe I just push it right next to the wall and it and it and it works like there there. No, it, it, it seemingly doesn't whoa. It seemingly doesn't work, and that is a very bright flash flashlight of mine. Do you know what? I'm I'm gonna leave that. It's fine. Let's let's take the money and run. Six hundred and eighty six pounds thirty nine pence. I've done eighty three percent of it. I can't figure out the other bit, but okay, that's fine. I'll take that. It took me twelve minutes. I think five minutes. Of that was just me being confused. So okay, thank you very much. Our next job is from Amanda Johnson. Hello. I dream about amaranth walls in my living room. I don't know what that means. I think that it's trendy color, but I know that is very strong, and it shouldn't be on all walls on room. Please paint selected parts of walls. Rest of walls should be white. Thanks. Oh, dearie me. Okay, yes, let's accept this, he says with a terrible sense of dread. Let's go and paint some walls a colour that I don't know what it is. These houses all look very samey. Okay, so paint rooms. So, so this room doesn't need painting. This room, I assume, doesn't need painting. Is it the main room? Big kitchen. Yeah, paint with colours amaranth and grey. Okay, I have a paintbrush, so that uh, oh no, it's a it's a uh, one of those things, a paint stick thing. The way you do the uh, what are they called rollers, roller. It's a paint roller thing. Um, okay, how do I buy paint? Paints. Okay, amaranth is please, but please actually be labelled as amaranth because I don't know what colour amaranth is. I've never heard of it before. All right, now we're getting into which chartreuse amaranth. Is that what she means? That colour. Uh, yeah, it must be. Okay, that colour there. Buy that. Uh, okay, let's put the paint pot there. And then I need white paint, I think. So, okay, come out of that. And then buy white paint. White, yes. Okay, buy that as well. And put that there. Uh, paint with colours amaranth and grey. Okay, so paint tool is is out so what how do i do this then do i just dip it in the thing uh okay so i've got white paint on it well the walls are already white so this is a bit silly isn't it but there we go do i just keep doing it uh okay 70 percent left to make order complete okay so that's white then uh okay this, this is a problem doing this white because i don't really know i should refill the paint can i use this can i get the pink color on it please so if we do the second one as pink, let's do all the pinks first, because then I know what I've done. So that's pink, and yeah, it looks a bit weird. Right, so I paint it in stripes across the wall. Okay, that's fine. Right, go back and get some more. Okay, 
there, do that. Maybe I don't need to do it twice. Maybe I just need to do it the once and it'll save me some paint. And there. Okay, so is she, is, is this going to be acceptable? I really don't know. I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing. Uh, okay, well, let's do these bits then. Let's do it alternating. And a bit that, oh, I haven't got enough paint. I should refill the paint thing. Okay, yoink, there we go. Right, let's do that. It looks a bit like a circus big top at the minute, but okay. <laughs> if that's what you want, you asked for it, madam. Uh, am I not getting paint everywhere? Do I not need to put, like, sheets down or anything? Clearly not. Oh, this has got a very long reach. Look at that. It's all the way over there. Yeah, I would have thought I might have needed to put sheets down, possibly, but, but clearly not. Okay, right. Grab some more paint. Splendid. Right, okay. Let's just... I'll just keep going around and doing this, then. I'll just keep going around and painting the walls until the walls are done, and they're this... Mm, lovely combination of this pink colour and, and white. Oh, hang on a moment. Hang on. I've been painting the wall white. And I swear that on the email that she sent me, she said, Hello, I wanted amaranth or whatever colour it was. And the rest of it, I want white. Yet my big kitchen tasks are paint with colours amaranth and grey. So I just bought some paint that I don't actually need. Right, let's order some grey paint then, if I can find where grey might be. Uh, there, grey paint. Yes, please. Put that down. Right, and let's get the thing in my bobber out of the paint thing. Yeah, there we go. Paint tool. Right, maybe that's why this wasn't actually registering anything. I was like, I'm painting the walls white and it isn't registering that I'm doing anything. What's going on? So, right, okay, so I need to paint the walls grey, even though it said white on the initial email. But that's fine. She's changed her mind in that time. Right, that, that's absolutely fine. Okie dokie, never mind. Ah, I've got a painting perk because presumably I've painted so much stuff. So, let's have a look. Painting perk. Not waste paint on a painted wall, faster painting, or paint two walls at the same time? How on earth do I paint two walls at the same time? That is some sort of miracle thing. I would say not waste paint on a painted wall might be quite useful. Because I'm not going to waste the paint on stuff that's already been done. So yeah, let's have that to start with. I'm quite intrigued with painting two walls at the same time. How on earth that works, I don't know. So um, yeah, the only bit that I could really work on is that up there. Because they, the, the bits underneath don't really work. The bits at the top do. And I could do with changing that. The only thing is I've ran out of paint. I've ran out of the, the, the pink paint. Which is a bit annoying. So everything else is done apart from the bits at the top. Now because I'm a nerdy perfectionist who has to have this done right. I am going to go and redo those bits. Because it will annoy me. It will annoy me if they're not done right. So I mean these are easy look. You can drop those bits in. And then should we make the insides grey? Let's do the insides of the windows a nice grey colour like that. What we'll do is we'll do all of that the same. Ah, oh, the paint roller's run out. And I think, have I run out of paint on that one? I think that's it for now. That one's run out of paint. But yes, if I do that, look, on the inside of the windows and on all those bits as well. So there, there, and there. And then, I don't do the windowsill. I do, what's that? Is that a bit of, does that need doing as well? Oh, it's just behind there. Oh, okay, right. Okay, it's cunningly hiding behind there. Okay, have I got the tiniest scrap of paint left? Yes. Okay, good. So yeah, what I'll do is I shall I'll, I shall do these, I should do the windows, and get it all done. Get it all nice. I want it to kind of be 100% because I'm a nerd like that, and it will annoy me if I leave it uncompleted. I've left one person's thing uncomplete anyway because I couldn't figure out how to plumb in the dishwasher or whatever it was. The No, the, the, the washing machine. Couldn't figure that out. So it'd be quite nice to get at least this one done right. Oh, please tell me there's a tiny bit more paint in there. Yes. Okay, there's a tiny, tiny slither of paint left to do that. And that, possibly that, and maybe that. Oh, there's four of these. I'm going to run out of paint at the last thing. Yeah, botherations. Okay, right. I need to get some more paint in then. Yay, and it's complete. 100% complete. The big kitchen tasks are done. And I can complete the order. Yes, please. £620, 23 pence. It's all done. Yes, thank you very much. 13 minutes, 36 seconds. Possibly a bit longer than I would like. But still, whatever. It's all done. Yeah, now this is my house. I have a washing machine in the bathroom as well. Is this an American thing? Is this what you do in America? Do you have your washing machines in your bathrooms next to your toilet? That's a bit weird. We don't have that. They go normally in the kitchen, possibly. If it's a smaller flat or something like that. Or in kind of a utility room or out in the garage or the garage or whatever. But yeah, I, I don't think I've ever seen one in a, in a toilet before. In a bathroom, sorry. Or near your toilet. 
That is a bit weird, but okay. So what I think we're going to do is, I think we're going to leave this for now. However, we are going to come back because I, I think this has got more to offer. So that's just the introductory bit. So that's just showing you what can happen. So we've still got ourselves the houses to buy up and do on our own, but also we have this. The next thing that we do, and we are going to come back because I want to do this, walls to knock down. Hi, I love open spaces, but in this home where I do not look are the door. <laughs> I would like the living room to be an open space. Do not have these awful doors. Not only people lose themselves. You can also improve the bedroom. I think it is too tight. It is probably through these colours and badly arranged furniture. My house isn't big, but it has too many doors. I don't like cramped corridors. Please knock down walls between corridor and living room. Thank you. So we are going to do that next time. Because um, I think we all know. Um, we all know me. I love open spaces. But I don't like a home where I do not look out the door. So, you know, that's fine. I do not look out the door either, Anthony Gray. <laughs> so, uh, yes, we will come back and we will do this. But yeah, I think this, I think this is quite fun. It, it's a bit nerdy. It's a bit nerdily therapeutic of going around and doing cleaning. I've got a safe. I've got a safe. Can I open the safe? Oh, great. Well, I'm glad I've got a safe. That's brilliant. I was expecting untold riches, cash beyond my wildest dreams. But no, just a big old safe of absolutely twaddle. Okay, fine. I need to make my bed. How can I make my bed? Come on. Oh, I know that's picking up the bed. I definitely don't want to pick up the bed. Um, okay, yeah, so we'll come back. We'll come back. I would like to do that mission where I knock down some walls. And then, hopefully, we'll have enough money to buy a house and then do it up. Because I'm trying to save up money. Now, ideally, I'd love the Barbie house. But, 87 grand, we could get this house. The OH1H Dirty House, whatever, it, whatever that means. Do that. Spruce up, flip it. See, I'm using the terminology. Flip that. See what money we can make on it, and then come back and do some more of these. So yeah, I think there is uh, there's still a lot to do in this game, and I am quite enjoying it. Hopefully you are too. Please let me know what you think in the comments. And if you are enjoying it, if you did like it, please do leave a like, and also please do subscribe too. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard, and I will see you next time. You can be the last accounting office. City tax offices. Boo, tax man. Yeah, you look busy. Is it a quiet day at Bedrock Insurance, is it? Is he going to use the stairs? Or is he going to be a lazy beggar? Yeah, you lazy ass. And all the lights are on. And I noticed that everyone has left their lights on. I'm paying for this electricity, you gets.